Hi Virgo, this is a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. And also the roles can be reversed. Alright, so let's see what is going on with Virgo. Overall energies for mid-May. All right, we have settling and we have barrier. Okay, so somebody is settling in a situation. It could be you in this situation for the person you're watching for, um, or it could be your person settling with you or maybe with another situation, all right? Um, so you would know what the case is here, but definitely this settling is serving as a barrier for either one of you to move forward in your lives or for this connection. So let's see. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for mid-May. All right, so for your energy, we have the Page of Cups, the Emperor, and the Three of Swords. All right, so... There are emotions here that you that you have for somebody. I feel like you see this person as um, either very, just just very powerful in a way. Um, I feel like this is someone that you that you have high up on a pedestal or that you feel um, could actually have a lot of control over over their lives, and but for whatever reason, you're feeling a lot of pain. Um, and we'll see more when we clarify. For them, we have the Three of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. All right. <clears throat> so this person has a lot of waiting energy <laughs> around them. Um, there's a lot of thinking about the future, a lot of, you know, trying to decide this way, that way. Um, just really trying to come up with a plan, but at the same time, possibly being a little bit stubborn and kind of holding on to something. Let's see what's coming up. We have the world, the four of wands and the lovers. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that's pretty powerful here. Um, definitely some kind of a conclusion coming up, some kind of a shift here, some kind of a um, closing out something which leads to something very, very beautiful here. It leads to love, it leads to commitment, it leads to um, stability. All right, and the final message here is the tower. Yeah, all right, this is definitely huge what is coming up. So let's clarify and see, because with that tower also being there as the, as the message, I mean, that's like, you know, kind of like, I'm seeing it as a preparation for a very, very big shift. Something definitely closing out. So this, I mean, this could definitely be a third party situation, um, especially when there's settling involved. It doesn't have to be though. It could be that you're settling um, in a situation that, you know, it's causing you pain and, you know, this tower could be, you know, you really throwing that up in the air and it just being, destroyed basically in order for there to be a new beginning and I do see whatever that is for whoever that is once that is concluded something beautiful is showing up here all right so let's clarify the page of cups for your energy the emperor again and the five of swords yeah, okay, so, I mean, and I do get also that there is a very powerful connection here as well, all right? Um, I feel like 
you you feel very deceived um, by this by this person in some way. You feel like you know maybe you have even been manipulated either intentionally or even unintentionally. Whatever the case is, this is somebody who you know maybe um, wants to have it all, wants to win in a way where it actually isn't bringing about the results that they would necessarily want and definitely not the results that you would want because it is causing you a lot of pain. Um, <clears throat> let me clarify the emperor. The two of wands and, and the sun. Okay, yeah, so I do feel like this is how you're viewing your person also and, you know, the pain that you're feeling because of this person who is in your life seems to not be moving towards their happiness. Um, and for whatever reason, that is also affecting you because, well, that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, almost as if they're not moving towards their truth, not moving towards what it is that would bring fulfillment um, to the both of you. Again, it's that two of wands, which is here in their energy, kind of like just sitting there thinking about it, maybe even talking about it, um, planning for it. But then where is the action? It feels like they're holding back from taking action on these plans or on these thoughts while holding on to whatever it is that they're um, settling with or whatever it is that they, that they are holding on to which is preventing this from moving forward. So I, it almost feels like the both of you are settling in a way. I feel like this person is settling for a situation, um, whatever that is, doesn't have to be third party, just settling for a situation where they're not taking action and you may have been settling in the situation with this person. Let me clarify the Three of Swords. Alright. Well, there goes our settling. Alright, so clarifying the Three of Swords, we have the Two of Swords and the Page of Wands. Again, there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain here on your end. Again, another another two, the two of swords this time. Um, <clears throat> because there was no action, because there was stagnation. And I feel like, you know, this has been possibly your energy as well. So there may have been some mirroring here if this was also your energy by staying in a situation where it was not bringing you fulfillment. Um, but I feel like you're ready to move on now. All right, with this page of wands, you want to move in a new direction. You want to, you know, see things in a different way and go about things in a different way. You don't want to do things the way you have been in the past. You want to handle this differently. So let's see what is what is going on with them. The three of wands. The Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. By the way, just having, because um, I do feel like we have quite a bit of wands and we have the Emperor twice, so some of you might be dealing with um, an Aries or maybe just any fire sign, definitely let me know. Um, so yeah, here there, it's, again, it's a lot of, it's a lot of waiting, a lot of thinking about what it is that they truly want, but it feels like there is, it's, it's interesting because this person doesn't want to give up on whatever it is that they're planning, whatever it is that they want to do. They don't want to give up on their, um, on their wish fulfillment here. Okay. Which I do feel is you. Um, but at the same time, they're seeing it as something very, very difficult. And I feel like they're, that's why they're just going around in circles, like planning for this. Let's do it this way. Let me think about that. Let me imagine the future. Let me imagine me, you know, doing whatever it is that I need to do in order to move in this direction of happiness. 
Um, they're doing all of these things, but then ultimately, you know, still kind of staying in that. <laughs> Let's see the Four of Pentacles. Judgment and the King of Swords. Yeah, like I said, they're not giving up. It's not like they don't, it's not like they don't want to. They're not giving up here. This is someone, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy. They are so determined to get what, what it is that they want, but then at the same time holding back from it. But the determination is there. The determination is there. It almost feels like this person actually believes that they are taking action, that they are actually doing something. It's it's just, I feel like it's just a matter of time before they realize that, you know, they're finding themselves um, in the same spot continuously, <clears throat> no matter what it is that they're doing here, to the point where there's going to be a wake up, a wake up call, all right? Because having judgment here um, right before this craziness down here, which is actually pretty awesome. And then also having the tower as the main message. This is going to be a wake up call for them that they're going around in circles and it's time to take some kind of action, make some kind of, you know, decision or decisions. Let go of that um, ego or that stubbornness that is holding them back. All right, so let's see what actually is coming up. Ooh, Justice just dropped out. Wow. Some pretty powerful cards down here, all right, for your message and coming up. Um, definitely, definitely a cycle is closing out big time. It, I feel like it's going to be a very big um, <clears throat> decision that is just really creating a shift. It's creating a new way of being. And again, I mean, this this could even be you, okay, for some of you, taking taking that new path. All right, but I, I kind of see this like on a very major, major scale. So if that's not you really moving away um, <clears throat> from this connection, then this it's it would be your person really making a huge decision here um, and a huge, huge shift. Either way, it's leading to, to a lot of love here. It's leading to a connection. I would even go as far as to say marriage. So for the four of wands, we have the knight of swords. Yeah, so this is, I feel like once this decision is made, once there is a completion and a closing out of something, everything else is going to come like really, really fast here. Let me get one more here. The Hierophant clarifying the lovers. I mean, wow, <laughs> this is like crazy. And it's like so much um, major arcana here and they're really powerful ones as well. So yeah, this lovers together with the Hierophant, this is going to be something very, very stable, very secure. Um, I feel like a very, very high level of commitment as well as very powerful and spiritual as well. All right, so yeah, it's just that I feel like before this happens, there is, there is going to have to be a major tower, okay? So if you feel like this is you that needs to walk away from this possibly or to look in a new direction or to even just handle this situation differently. But when I say differently, I mean like majorly, majorly differently, all right? Then, you know, go ahead because that is what this is um, going to lead up to. So, Virgo. If this resonated, let's get your final oracle message and please do give me a thumbs up if it resonated. All right. And we have strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. Yeah, and I feel like that actually applies for the both of you. Or whoever is going to go through this tower, whoever <laughs> is going to make a major decision here to close something out. So you will make it through to the other side. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for watching. Much love.